Hello. A couple of weeks ago, my YouTube friend, username Morelli7263, asked me to make instructions for Timon and Pamba. Frankly, I have never done these two particular cartoon characters. I remember to find myself quite often in uh, similar situations. On all requests uh, to make um, something that I am not familiar with, my answer is always I can make it if you describe it to me. So, let's get description of Pamba to begin with. It is a pig or wild uh, boar. Brown color, four legs, two fangs. Based on this uh, description, I would use one brown balloon to make a sculpture as described in the previously published instruction pig. There are just couple modifications that I made um, to the basic pig sculpture. Here I use a slightly inflated uh, about 3 inch uh, piece of uh, clear uh, balloon to make the fangs. Simply attach it in the middle between the first and the second bubble of the head. Use a permanent black marker to draw the face, eyes, forelock. In this sculpture I added um, small about one inch bubbles to represent feet. That's it. Congratulations. Basically we have used just one balloon to make Pamba. We can make basically the same sculpture without two lip twist. It could be a big deal for those who are not familiar with two lip twist. Inflate balloon leaving about eight inch flat tail. Twist the first soft, very soft, about half an inch uh, bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. We have made the nose bubble. The rest of the head we do in the same way as we did in previous sculpture. Twist the second and third about one inch bubble. Twist the fourth about one half an inch bubble. Twist the fifth soft thumbnail bubble. Twist the sixth about one inch bubble. Twist the seventh soft thumbnail bubble. Twist the eighth about one and half an inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last five bubbles in one lock twist. Pull the first and the second bubble through the loop of the last five bubbles. Ok, let's take a look. This is a front view side view and the back view of the head. Uh, lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist to make the first ear. Lock both ends of the seventh bubble in one lock twist to make the other ear. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. We have made the pig head. The next five bubbles we twist to make the front legs. Twist the ninth one and half an inch bubble, twist the tens, eleventh and twelfths thumbnail bubbles, twist the thirteenth one and half an inch bubble, lock both ends of the chain of the last five bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the fourteenth about two inch bubble. The next four bubbles we twist to make the rear legs. Twist the fifteenth one and half an inch bubble, sixteenth and seventeenth thumbnail bubbles, twist the eighteenth, one half an inch bubble, lock both ends of the chain of the last four bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the nineteenth, about two inch bubble, lock both ends of the chain of the last six bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the twenties, about two inch bubble. Make sure to have at least thumbnail size bubble at the end of the balloon. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. We have made the body of the pig. Basically, we have made the pig. Uh, let's just fix all bubbles in proper positions. Here's the side view, front view, bottom view, top view. Uh, lock both ends of the last 21st bubble, if you like it. Uh, the 21st bubble keeps the rear legs in a fixed position. 
Now let's finish the front legs. Uh, lock both ends of the tenth bubble in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the twelfth bubble in one lock twist. I'm going to use um, scissors to pop eleventh bubble uh, to split uh, front legs apart. But first, uh, let's use a permanent black marker to draw the face. There is no much of drawing, just big eyes and uh, some couple lines to represent four lock. Also, I have prepared in advance uh, about three inch long piece of clear balloon, slightly inflated. Fold it in half and force it between the first and the second bubbles of um, the brown balloon. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Also, we can draw the nose. Why not? Let's draw the nose. With piggy nose. Our sculpture looks better. And finally, we're going to use scissors to pop eleventh bubble to split front legs apart. Pull the leg bubble slightly apart and then pop the bubble. Congratulations! We have made Pamba. Using more balloons, we can make bigger sculpture with uh, more details. Also, I like idea of making just a face or head of Pamba. Simple threefold head with ear bubbles, note and the fangs attached to it. It will do. Now let's make Tim one. Inflate brown or yellow balloon, leaving about four inch flat tail to make the head and arms. Twist the first soft about one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. We have made the nose. Twist the second about two inch bubble. Twist the third soft about one inch bubble. Twist the fourth about two inch bubble. Twist the fifth soft about one inch bubble. Twist the sixth about two inch bubble. Twist the seventh soft about one inch bubble. And twist the eighth about two inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first eight or last seven bubbles in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the seventh bubble in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. The third and seventh bubbles represent ears. The fifth bubble represent four lock. Uh, twist the ninth about two inch bubble. Lock the free end of the ninth bubble with the fifth bubble. We have made the head. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Twist the tenth about three inch bubble to make the neck. And the next five bubbles we twist to make the arms and the hands. Fold the balloon to estimate the arm bubble length. Twist the eleventh about six, seven inch bubble. Twelve soft about one inch bubble. Thirteenth one inch bubble. Fourteenth soft one inch bubble. Fifteenth uh, about six, seven inch bubble. The fifteenth and eleventh bubble should be of the same size. I keep about one inch bubble at the very end of the balloon. Uh, lock both ends of the chain of the last five bubbles in one lock twist. For the neck bubble between the fourth and sixth bubble of the head, here's the back view, front view. Let's lock uh, both ends of the 14th bubble in one lock twist. Both ends of the 12th bubble in one lock twist. We have made the hands. The head would look better with eyes. It's easy to make. Inflate two soft uh, white one inch bubbles. Lock all ends of 
white bubbles and one lock twist. And for the eye bubbles, between bubbles of the head. Under the ninth bubble, place one eye bubble on each side of uh, ninth brown bubble. Fix all bubbles in proper position. I'm trying to balance the eye bubbles symmetrically on each side of the face. Ok, here's the front view, the side view and the back view. Inflate the second brown or yellow balloon leaving about 3 inch flat tail to make the body, legs and tail. Twist the first a soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. This bubble keeps the neck in fixed position. I think it is best to fix neck with uh, two bubbles like this. Twist the second about uh, 7 inch size bubble to make the body. The next 6 bubbles we twist to make the legs. Twist the third about 4 inch bubble. Twist the uh, fourth soft about 1 inch bubble. Twist the fifth about 3 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 3 bubbles in one lock twist. Twist the sixth about 4 inch bubble. Twist the seventh soft 1 inch bubble. Twist the eighth about 3 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 3 bubbles in one lock twist. The rest of the balloon is the tail. Now let's make fit. Uh, lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. Then lock both ends of the seventh bubble in one lock twist. Ok, we have made the body, the legs and tail. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. That's the front and side view. Lock the first bubble of the second balloon between arm bubbles and neck bubble. For the body bubble, halfway through the loop of the arm bubbles. And again, fix all bubbles in proper positions. Congratulations! We have made Timon. Use a permanent black marker to draw details. I'm going to first place this part of the video clip. Uh, draw the forelock, eyes, nose, ears and um, what else? Uh, hands and uh, feet. All those details of the same black color. Uh, the chest is white. Instead of using black permanent marker to paint black uh, bubbles, we can use black balloon to make those black bubbles. If you choose to go this way, you don't have to twist all brown 1 inch bubbles when you're making the hat. Instead, uh, you will have to use black balloon to twist uh, 1 inch soft black bubbles and attach them where they're supposed to be. Timon has three black stripes on the back. Also, the end of his tail is black as well. Now I'm going to use white correction liquid to paint the chest. We can use white balloon to make the chest. Simply inflate uh, white uh, about 7 inch bubble and attach it uh, along the body bubble. Fix it between uh, arms bubbles. Congratulations! We have made Timon. Also, I feel obligated to mention that uh, without recording on video, I made attempt to make uh, Timon using just one balloon and it looks like a squirrel. Ok, let's put Timon and Pamba next to each other. Yeah, I know. Pamba should be much bigger than Timon. Well, anyway, it's what I come up with. Have fun and happy twisting!